Howdy folks and welcome back. My name is Kale and today you guys are witnessing episode number one of Kale Clark Outdoors. Today we are heading out on the Winnipeg River system to an unknown spot on the lake. Not a lot of people are aware of where we're going to be heading out to so if you guys can guess feel free to put it in the comments and if you guess it I will tell you if you're right but other than that I'm not going to be revealing it. We're going to be launching at uh, Opapa Squaw uh, which is on barrier bay i believe so uh yeah it should be a fun day i'm excited i had a previous channel named big man outdoors that channel was struck down because of a false copyright claim so a little bit unfortunate got to start fresh over but uh since that happened i've purchased a boat and i've purchased a truck so i feel like maybe a fresh start wouldn't be the worst thing in the world um, but yeah my name is kale i'm 19 years old i am uh Severely addicted to fishing. I, I must have to say this is my first time admitting it out loud I'm very addicted to fishing very addicted to the outdoors And I love obviously hanging out with my dad on the boat because lots of the lessons that you learn in life that help you out Are learn fish and I'll tell you that for free. So I hope you guys do enjoy I'm gonna try to put as many funny moments as many big fish um, and honestly try to capture a lot of the good times just to put them online and you never know maybe they get some traction maybe they don't but either way if i do it i have all of it saved and uh i can look back on all the memories in the future so hope you guys enjoy it hope you guys do enjoy this video i'm going to be doing a in-depth tour of the boat and the truck very soon um but yeah hope you guys do enjoy it we're going to head out on the lake and we'll see you guys out there All right guys, so first spot, we are going to be trolling uh, with shad wraps and bandits. I'll put links to them in the description down below. We're gonna be trolling through a little spot where the river system narrows, um, going through currents in about 10 to 25 feet of water. The water temperature right now is 61.6, so hopefully we can get on a few. We have actually caught a couple master angler bass at the spot trolling for walleye so we'll see how it goes hopefully it's been uh as good if not better as the fishing's been for most of this part of the season we are obviously in october so water temps are cooling fish are starting to move around and maybe we'll get lucky today and get on a master i got one it's probably pretty small probably an eater sized walleye Might go, oh, it's on the surface. Tiny little bass. Give the pliers. First fish of the day, not anything to be proud of. Second cast. 
When we troll, I usually uh, like to let out about 100 to 120 feet of line, which seems a little excessive, but I usually catch more fish than uh, people who don't put out as much line. So I don't know, just my strategy. You guys can use it if you'd like to. That's a fish. That's a fish and it's a decent one. All right, we're hooked up, or I'm hooked up, I guess. If this is a walleye, it'll be my one of my biggest walleyes of the year, probably. Yeah, I haven't. I've barely been able to reel on him so far. It's staying down deep, so it's probably not a bass. This would be a master bass if it's a bass, though. Give the net. Oh my god, it just came off. Are you serious? Do you need a net? Hold it up. Yeah. <laughs> Dad's hooked up on a good one. Get my lure in and then net it for him. You're gonna need a bigger net. I'm gonna need a bigger net apparently. Hopefully it's not a little one. <laughs> huge. I thought I had a snag. Thought he had a snag. You know, life does that to you sometimes. Sometimes you think you got a snag, sometimes you don't got a snag. What did I say at the beginning of the video? B biggest lessons learned while fishing. <laughs> it's off. It's off? Yep. Now that's three big fish that we've lost today. How did it get off? I have no idea. That was big. Well, Another lesson learned while fishing. Never speak too soon. We were using a shad wrap. Now we're switching over to a live target. This is a perch style live target. Last time we were here, we uh, did very well on it. So I don't know. We're uh, we're getting on the fish. We're just having a hard time keeping them on today. So it's it's a little weird. It's a little frustrating, but we still got lots of time left in the day. So we'll we'll get them. Spot number two, we are fishing a uh, little spot where the river diverts into two different areas. Um, it also narrows and there is a little bit of current here, not as much current as the last spot we were fishing. Um, we didn't really get many bites at the last spot, but we had a couple big ones that unfortunately got off. So hopefully we can make up for that. We're gonna see how it goes. We've got a couple more spots up our sleeve. I just got hooked up reeling in my lure after a snag. This is a good one. I'm gonna need you to grab the net. Bass. Probably, I'm guessing. Wants to stay down. This might be the big one that I lost that one time. Big bass. It's coming up. That makes a little bass. First, not terrible fish of the day, a little, uh, Little 16 inch bass, nothing too crazy, but we'll get her back. See you later. 
do those things every fight sometimes. I'm hooked up. Feels like a bass. Came off a 15 foot reef into 30 feet and got hit in the open water. not jumping or anything like that. It might be like a 20 inch walleye or something. Bass. Another bass. Pliers. Another little bass, little like 14 inch or whatever. Spot number three, a little bit of a change up. We're kind of fishing where it opens up from a little channel into a bigger river system. Not a lot of current here, but there is a dam roughly a kilometer away. So of course that'll get the fish going when that thing's on, but yeah, we'll see how it goes, I guess. You gotta turn the boat a little bit. You got the GoPro on? Yep. Got a big fish trolling with the musky bait for walleye. You've got a musky sized walleye. Well, it's got to be at least like a 22 to bite that freaking bait. Tugging down. Have Whoa. you ever have you ever had a small walleye bite this bait? No. Big lure fish, big fish. Whoa. Come up, yeah. Oh my god. Oh Whoa. my god. I <laughs> five. Big bait, big fish. He'll show you that lure and talk about it in a sec. That's a. Here's your 10, 12 pound walleye. Finally, after all that, holy shite. Look at that monster. Okay, I'm gonna take off the GoPro and hold it up. That's, that's crazy. There you are, musky bait, musky size walleye. Take the lure out and put the fish in the net and give it a little soak again. Absolutely hammered it. We'll take some better pictures. That's huge, that's probably a 30. <laughs> Show them that lure. Tell them where you bought it. There's a big M, Lindy big M. Hard to find, can't get them anymore. Found 15 on eBay and bought them all. Hold it up beside the beside the walleye for the thumbnail. Okay, that's good. Sweet Get her back. Probably not very big, but you never know. Oh, it's starting to fight a little bit now. Knows he's hooked. Ass. 
other little bass. Ah, uh, that was hard. I don't know, I think I got something on. It's okay, buddy, I'm gonna let you go. Because, uh, you don't taste very good, but if you could let your brother, the walleye, know that uh, we're looking for him. He gotta pay his car insurance. We're not gonna eat him. Unless we decide to eat him, then uh, car insurance will still get paid. All right guys, we are at the fourth and final spot of the day. We are doing a little bit of pike fishing. Uh, we've caught a couple masters out of this spot this year so far. It is a sand to rock on both sides transition with a lot of weeds around. So it's a really good pike spot. Hopefully we can uh, get lucky and we'll see how it goes. Fishing a bulldog, so as soon as it hits the water, you just reel as f basically as fast as you can just to stop it from getting down there, getting involved in the weeds and all that junk. So we'll see how this goes. Hopefully we can get on a master to show you guys. 